Hello and welcome back. Um, it's early morning here and uh, I'm gonna load up my game. Uh, I'm Jacob and you guys will probably know that because um, well I think it's the same um, same people watching these uh, episodes uh, time after time but just in case someone stumbles across this uh, I better explain that it's about me playing Championship Manager 0102 and trying to well, um, make some kind of impact with Wales. Well, more specifically, I'm trying to qualify for a major tournament. And all these episodes up until now, uh, up until the next episode, or maybe the next one again, I don't know. Uh, I'm sort of um, just <clears throat> yanking your chain a little bit because um, I didn't want. I did. Uh, I did actually consider just clicking through the game and then showing up with this series at the point of time where the uh, Euro Championship qualifications actually begin in September of, um, of 02. I didn't do that though. As you'd know, I, I played through all these uh, friendlies because all of this stuff about um, trying to get an impression of the team and, and uh, shaping the tactics and stuff, I think it's equally important as as the important matches. And also this hopefully builds up a little um, excitement about um, well, Spain match to begin with. But first I've got Albania in a friendly. And I did the same thing as in the last episode. Carefully picked lots of players for the Wales squad and also the uh, Wales B squad. Right. Um, so this episode is probably going to be very much the same. I think I have time for two matches. Um, so I'm going to play the, the B match first, because it's the first date, and then uh, the other one. Um, so that'll be interesting. And uh, I swapped around a bit. As you can tell just on the screen that's uh, loading right now, I've got um, Twitty, for example, on the A team now. So and that's because he played really well in the last, uh, the last time around. So gigs removed because of injury. When's the match? It's the twenty fourth, or like three days from now. So I'd better just pick someone else. I've already got. Uh, not that guy. I don't really have a lot of options, other than Llewellyn, and that's because I already picked those. Uh, options for for the B squad. So let's see what I can find as a last minute solution here. Uh, I can move um, players around from the, the under 21 squad and up to the A squad, but not from the B squad because they also have match in probably less than three days. I've got some kind of filter, right? It's a uh, better just do this. See if I can find a direct substitute. John Robinson retired from international football, unfortunately. Huh. So I don't have a lot to do. I don't have a lot of options. This guy maybe who plays in, in Brentford in the second division. Steve Evans, right? Or let's just see who else is out there. Hmm. for one day and he's normally part of the, uh, the A so I'm just gonna pick him Steve Jenkins should be able to call him up even though he's not well injured right so I'm gonna confirm that and see
good. So this is the B squad. I don't know the screen. I'm going to have to move it around a little bit just so I can see what I've got news right down here. Good. Very, very important news. So, uh, yeah. Got most, I think it's the, the exactly the same guys except for the left back. Oh yeah, I, I know I made two changes. I brought in uh, Chris Weston. He looks really good actually. He looks good enough to be selected for for the the actual national team, but except for the jumping and heading and marking, but apart from that, he looks pretty good. Positioning and anticipation could be better as well, but let's see how he does. This guy, Gabidon, I gave him the chance in the last match. Didn't really work out. And Kareth Roberts. Um, I think I called him up for the um, the real uh, Wales team. To give this guy the chance now. And the midfielders. So, Mr. Barnard should be able to play, even though he's he has a 90. He's actually, he earns a lot of money and plays in, in Grimsby. He's, he's worth, well, a little bit. So, but, but he doesn't look very good. So, I, I don't really trust that guy. But now I'll give him the chance to impress me. So, I could go with uh, Sarah Hughes, who looks awesome. I mean... <laughs> Um, I don't have any doubts that he's he's a good player. In the last match, I tried Pembridge and Paul Evans, and brought on Damian Lacey. Didn't, didn't play well. Now I'll give Lacey the chance from the start, just to see. Maybe I'm totally mistaken, and maybe um, the other game that I played where he was so great, maybe it's just because of some random stats or whatever. So now I'm just trying him. And that, then let's bring on Syracuse. I hope that's how it's pronounced. And then substitute number four. Should probably be Mr. Jarman. No, oh, he's low and 70% condition. Shouldn't be. So let's instead just opt for Mr. Blake. Right, there we go. Uh, Barnard, do I have someone else? I have Oster to uh, fill in on the left wing when the other guy gets tired. Um, I only have this Maxwell guy in the middle. I don't know if, if that'll work. Uh, but, well, I do want to see how they play. I don't have a lot of options, so let's just go for it. Wait a second, did I choose that other guy? Yeah, I've got this guy. That's the option. Uh, Nineteen-year-old playing well on the under twenty-one in the under twenty-one squad. So I don't know. He's the only guy. Gosh. Yeah. Right. So let's see what happens. I'm pretty sure the other the other match where I fielded the the beast with the Wales B squad against Albania that was probably a better squad. Um, but now I'm just trying stuff because that's what this is about. Seeing how they perform when put to the test and. Now Albania is up one goal. Turn Barnard is really tired and not playing very well. I don't get it. Why would that guy be? Interesting. I mean, what is he all about? Stamina 4. 
I don't get it. I don't trust that guy. I don't trust anyone with stamina four. Alright. So into the match. See Damien Lacey? He's playing a lot better than Sarah Hughes though. So that's what I mean. Whoops. Um Chris Weston is doing well. Adrian Williams, maybe not so much. Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna see what I've got on the bench. And Gareth Taylor is not really um, impressing either. So I might want to bring on Mr. Blake, for example. But he has poor determination, so let's just go with the young guy. And Mr. Evans. I don't even have any substitutes for the uh, defender left. That was probably supposed to be Mr. Barnard, of course. Right. Um, the rest of these guys, I don't know. Adrian Williams is the captain. But he's not playing well. So I'll try Gabidon again. That might have been too many substitutions all at once. So 3-0 in the first B match against Albania and this time we're defeated. Or so it looks anyway. But still got the stats are in our favor. And we've been super keyboard by this guy. Mr. Nobody. Right. Oh, by the way, just have to take a look at these. Uh, yeah. Actually, out of all these players, the only one that really made a good impression is Damien Lacey. And for some reason, Swansea, um, they can't find use for him in, in the third division. Right. There almost uh, in the playoffs um, but they can't use him so they loaned him out to Brimbo Broughton semi-professional squad in Wrexham right. so weird though so weird but now he's got now he's capped for the B team and yeah That might help him um, being found, discovered by some other club, I hope. So, the actual team with no Ryan Giggs. I've got uh, the tactics looking like this. I think I already picked the, the team pretty much. No, this is the old team, right? From the last match where I had to play with Ivan Roberts. Um, so. Coin uh, 
Hmm. Yeah. Probably Savage, he's been playing well, I guess. Delaney, I haven't really used him yet. So let's just try that. I'm gonna have Mr. Savage on the bench. I need to try stuff. Also, we've got Steve Jenkins in Huddersfield. He's looking alright, but very low morale. So let's just put him on the bench. And. I don't know about that Gary Jones guy. Uh, looks a bit weird. Then we've got Old Man Melville. Uh, so, David Vaughn is really good, right? Four caps. And he supposedly just gets better. And this is Albania away, so I'm gonna try Mr. Roberts instead. Just to see how that pans out. And then we've got the midfield. <clears throat> so Kumas with either leg, Andy Williams. With either leg. I don't know where they're supposed to be best. But Andy Williams, I think he played pretty well in the last match. Mr. Kumas came on to uh, score a goal. I'll just uh, try uh, swapping them around. Thomas on the right, Williams on the left, and then Twitty on the bench. Uh, Matthew Jones is not ready. We've got the pair in the middle, it's Davies and Johnson in this match. And maybe I should just go with the same pair. Or, or I should try Robbie Savage in the middle. I know Simon Davies plays well. Saw that in the last match, so why not? Then Andy Johnson, he hasn't played so well in the international matches so far. But he's the captain. He's got the captain's suit. I'll just leave him with that. And then Hartson. Like that. Right. So, once again, hoping for something good from Craig Bellamy. Yeah, and I'll just uh, play this very fast in the first half. This is the last friendly, I guess, before uh, before we face Spain. So I'd like something better than this. I mean, what the hell? There we go, Andy Williams on the left wing. Ah, another Albanian goal. Red one. <sighs> Suddenly I'm feeling a bit tired. Right, so let's just have Andy Williams run up and down the left uh, like this. Ah. 
not so great. Because he was playing all right up until that happened. What actually happened? Pushed over. Right after the goal. Pushed over. Okay. Must have been in a violent manner. A deliberate push. Or he wouldn't have given the direct red card. So that's a shame for Mr. Roberts. Not so important though. He's not my first choice for anything. Um, Delaney is not really playing very well. Robbie Savage. Same thing. He's, he's really poor actually. So get Simon Davies on. Uh, Craig Bellamy. I'm not going to do a lot of changes. Just got the, the card and I need these guys to up their game. In a tough situation, one man down. Albania, they're clearly the best team on the pitch. This really sucks. So Makes me worry a lot about the, the Spain match. So Kumas is really tired and No one plays really well, so what can I do? I'm gonna bring, bring on Gary Speed instead of Kumas and go like this. And well, let's just move him up here. Andy Johnson, regular midfielder. So let's just give them some arrows. But yeah. Probably the best I can do in a tough situation. It's not really the condition where you want to bring in Chris Twitty or anything stupid like that. I mean, what's the point? Um, so better to just play a little bit more compact to see if, if we can get something out of this. Just one more goal maybe so it's not uh, as shameful a defeat as it looks right now. Um, and this makes me really worry about the tactics I've chosen. Craig Bellamy is still not really performing. Um, So maybe, maybe I should change it before the, the Spain match. Maybe not, maybe that would be a stupid thing to do. Because just like a club team, I guess that the international teams, they also need a period of adjustment to, uh, to actually play the tactics that I want. And this is not one of the um, default tactics. So it probably takes a bit of time. Yeah. Crazy. But I've got uh, months to think about that. We'll have to wrap up the season first in the next episode and also um, see what happens in the World Cup um, where we won't be participating, sadly.
But yeah, uh, that's how it looks right now. Where's he at? That guy with the, um, the red card. Mr. Roberts. I think he'll have to go back to the second tier in Scottish football. Yeah, right. Just remove. Get out of here. And that's probably it for now. So, you guys, this was really, I mean, two defeats, two really sorry defeats by Albania. We were able to beat them like this first time around, and then that happened. What the hell? Oh, he actually looks pretty good. So, maybe they're just, um, I don't know, they're, maybe they're just as good as the Wales squad. I don't know. We don't have a lot of players to choose from, and our best players. Player was was out with an injury. Lots of excuses, right? But anyway, that's all I've got for you for now. Um, not a positive note to uh, to leave you guys with, but that's what it is. So next time, like I said, I'll wrap up the season and also um, have a look at especially how the, the opponents that we've got in the qualification let's just see international your championship qualification so we we are in group 8 and Ireland, Poland, Slovakia and Spain I guess Ireland and Spain are at the World Cup yes, Ireland Facing Cameroon, Germany, Saudi Arabia, Poland, uh, they are in the World Cup against South Korea, Portugal and USA. Slovakia isn't. And Spain against Slovenia, Paraguay and South Africa. So yeah, four, uh, three of the four, team that we're, four teams that we're facing in the qualifying, um, they are actually teams that appear at the World Cup. So a little bit scary, but um, yeah, that's how it is. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. And um, if you guys are on Twitter, you can send me a message and cheer me up or write something cheerful in the comment section. Tell me everything's gonna be all right, something like that. All right, see you guys next time. Bye.